Yeah, what's poppin', man? I right, man, so I'm on my way to pick up Chris now. Um, so this this time around, we're gonna be a little bit different. Um, we're actually not gonna really have too much time to like shoot, I guess, videos. Well, not not, not I guess. We're not gonna really have too much time to shoot videos at all. Um, since we're going out of town. I hate saying out of town. We're basically going on a trip this weekend. Um, so this is the official I'm down on the road. Uh, we're going to be vlogging our entire trip. So I mean, it should be pretty cool to see what we see. Um, I'm on my way now to pick up Chris. but I go get this rental. So I don't break the laws too much. Um, yeah. Oh man, just pulled up at Chris's. Hey, oh hey. Why are you standing in like creek? Where? I see your car parked inside. Yo, this guy's a weirdo. Yo, I'm like vlogging right now, and you literally called me, so it's like perfect timing. Really? Caught on the vlog. Where are you? Oh, yo, you look like baby googies from here, bro. <laughs> you like a younger googies, yeah. Like when you used to have a I'm short hair. Unfortunately, I don't know how. Yo, Sabine, your meat, bro. Come on. Oh, damn. No, oh, man. It's no quick. It's now. Now or never. <laughs> oh, man. Alright. Uh yeah, sure, that'll be good. What? Yeah, Five right. bucks? This better be the best sparkling water ever. You got regular water. You got flat water. Some salt, some soapies on it? Damn. Now you see what I gotta deal with this hood stuff? Yo, come on man. You're rich now. You live good now. I'm about to show everybody your house. I'm about to show everybody your house. Everybody from the slide to your crib now. Watch. Everybody in Miami know where Chris live at now. You lucky. I don't really live here. You lucky I don't see the number. If I saw the number, it would be game over for you. I don't, I don't live here. I don't know why I'm here because I'm... Oh, yeah? I'm in <laughs> oh, so you just decided to rent this place, huh? I live at the top. I'm not The what? I don't know what that's at. I don't know what that's at, bro. Hi friends, how we doing? Welcome to my fake house. I don't really live here. Allegation. This is your crib. This is MTV nope. Cribs. Nope. Uh -huh. Definitely not. Welcome to MTV Cribs. I live. You see that little garbage can? Yep. I live. I ran half of the garbage can. Oh. Alright, y'all. So uh, let me let me put this down. Look. So I'm like, this is not safe. I'm always playing music, vlogging, and, uh, and driving. And that's driving. A, as I said, oh, I'm not going to vlog and drive. But you are doing But that. I got to let them know what we're doing, though. <laughs> so before I just got the I got the car, I'm like, yo, we're just going to go get the rental real quick. And, you know, since Chris is being like a little girl, and he has to be fresh and whatnot for Orlando, so he has to go get shorts. I actually have to get more black v necks That's what I gotta go do. Like my goodness. So all of y'all who question it is not the same v neck. I get different black v necks Okay. A lot of people, I probably some people think I just ordered one v neck It just this guy has one. First of all, he's lying. He does have one v neck He leaves it in my house drying. <laughs> He, he goes to the same west and he's a drawing. I'll make, your, I'll make your mom watch it for me. Because she knows, she knows how I like it. You know, cotton, nice taken care of. Oh, man. You know what? I'm, one of these days I'm going to take a picture and put it on her Instagram of how many black v I got. So I how can, many black v do you? Do you know? A lot. Like a lot, a lot? I, I actually went and bought two more yesterday. Really? Yeah. Shit. So just to prove you guys that I buy v every week. Just to prove to you guys that Chris is actually rich and that's his house. That's one of his houses. What? <laughs> And we living good, but well, he living good. He living good. We struggling out here. First of all, you seen that? I know you seen that red wall that George has. Like you have to be rich to have one wall that is red, bro. For some paint, bro. One wall that is red, bro. For some paint, bro. Because that guy can afford to have every wall in his room is different colors. Oh, first of all, my Takashi of the room. Yeah, bro. <laughs> what the hell? Or Cardi B? He's a Cardi B fan. Nah, she changed her hair? She got it like rainbow color. Nah, for real? I'm gonna show it to you. Oh, man. 
Alright, Joss, I don't have to vlog and drive. We we'll probably go see ya uh, at the mall. Alright, Joss, I just dropped off Chris to the rental place here at the airport, and it is a pain in the ass. Um, there's too many turns, it's too, it's too, just too much, too much. So, um, I'm gonna drop my car off at my house now, and I'm gonna wait for Chris to come get me. And then we're gonna head out to the mall and do what we gotta do. And, and yeah, man, so we just, we just really, um, we're really in this vlog mode right now just to kind of show you guys, I guess, more of us. Um, I guess more of a personal take on us, so you guys can kind of see how we we'll interact like on a regular, normal basis and whatnot. So it should, it should, it should be an interesting weekend. Um, we're going out for a friend's birthday, so we're going out for a friend's birthday, so we should it should be a, a very fun uh, weekend. So you don't get this popping, you don't get it popping. Je know, je know, man, you know, man. So yeah, man, we gonna get this this thing cooking. We gonna get it chirping, chirping, popping and docking. And yeah, man. So we'll see y'all when we pick this whip. Oh wow, what a fucking think bunch about of it. They, they may, look, they always talk about security, but let's be honest. What is the reason they're doing that? Cause you know you know you know about their pictures game with your own. True, true. That's true. Wait, wait, where are you? You know, seventeen? Yeah. This was faster than going on twenty. All right, peeps. So we just picked up the freaking car. We got an egg car. Uh, <laughs> we got an egg car for a car this weekend. Is that a Ford Fiesta? Ford Fiesta. Is. I'm not gonna lie. Party. I'm not gonna lie. Party. I'm not gonna lie. It's not party. So, so I first looked at the car. I'm like, what the fuck is this little egg? But it's actually the truck is actually really big. The car's not bad though. I'm not. I'm not it has honey, uh, AC, yeah. wife, and uh, Bluetooth. And let's not forget the most important part: sport mode right there. Sport mode. Which so I'm when not we gotta get nasty. Which I'm not gonna so, so when we gotta get nasty on the road, you know, because always those truckers, or those little girls in the car trying to go, run, run, trying to rev it in front of us. You gotta bust the move, bro. What's the move? You know, it burns me my fiesta. Man, yeah. It's a party up in here. Yeah, yeah, man. But we got it's straight, man. It's this cool little car so far. Alright, man. So we gonna see you at the mall. Like, I was telling Chris either way. Well, I wasn't telling Chris. Like, I was telling them. Driving back, I was like, yo, I think this is like a time now where we could kind of just like, I guess, show a little bit more of, of who us. We are. Yeah. yeah. You know, like that, like, you know, through this, like, vlogging, because I don't really, this is the first vlog I ever do in my life. Um, yeah, man. So, we're gonna catch you at the mall. And, uh, because, you know, this diva has to get dressed and buy a bunch of stupid shit. And who the fuck was to buy a side bag? I don't fucking know, whatever. So, uh, yeah, man, we'll see y'all there. You know, you gotta put your survival parts. Alright, people. This guy's out here shopping for Fanny Pack. Fuzzy. For fanny pack, fanny pack shopping. It's fresh though, it's fresh. That's what matters. It's not matters, it's fresh. <laughs> oh man, let's see if I find what I gotta look for. Oh man, we're in urban out here. Trying to see some cool, cool stuff. Alright man, so we flopped. Alright man, we flopped so far, man. I couldn't find my man, shit. That's a fancy car. It's like the Ferrari oh, car. It is, it is. Yo, I know this. Every time we're out, Chris always pays attention to these carts. Baby you, carts. Yes, and yeah, tell me, bro. Yeah, man. Yes, so, and yeah, yeah, tell so the world. Guys, uh, George and I are gonna have a first job. Uh, the hell we are. <laughs> Wait, where are we going? Are we going to Northam? Yeah, let's go there. No, Northam's back here. No, we just no. came from oh, Northam. Yeah, right. Yeah, yeah. Freaking Christopher, man. Wow, you gotta be so hurtful. Yeah, man. <laughs> yeah, man. So I flopped on what I was looking for. So now, yo, just miss. Um, Balenciagas. Your bodies, bro. Um, they just ran out my size. They just ran out. See, what I ain't like right there is that Chris's excuse was they ran out of his size. You didn't say he didn't like. I know you see those fake Alexander Wangs though. Talking about fashion, man. I already peed to K Spade, man. Oh man. It's crazy. It's crazy, man. You guys need to learn to. Yo, we gotta speak out. Speak out. Just don't ever give up on fighting, man. Yeah, straight up. Um, if you guys haven't gone on Twitter. My dog Chris just put some uh, heartfelt, heartfelt stuff for you guys. So go ahead and check that out. What is your handle? At uh, what, Chris? Christopher? It's not the same one as Twitter. I don't remember. But yeah, the idea is not the retweet, guys. The idea is, is be the light for somebody. Because we all need light. We all need somebody to remind us that we're worth it, that we're valuable. Because you know nothing fits me. 
see? Oh yeah, it's baggy. Yo, yeah, that's a trend, bro. You gotta have some baggy stuff in we the closet. Like leave, like trying to be uh, Puff Daddy you from tailor 1990s. Them. Tailor them. I don't tailor my sweatpants. That's you. God, bro. This guy is such a hater. The sweatpants are supposed to be loose, George. I'm not gonna wear oversized. It's not my swag. Oversized. Well, maybe you should try it. Try it, Christopher. I'm committed to try it, Christopher. I want you to see. Hi, friends. Here I lie, once again, waiting for Jorge to try out some stuff. So now you guys know the truth. Who is the fashionista? Who is the diva? Who is Mr. I have to try on everything and reschedule our whole schedule to find out one specific item. Who is that? You guys can hear him from the background screaming out, not me, but it's him. Now you guys know the truth. So, what can I tell you guys? Once upon a time, there was a little boy named Jorge. I'm just kidding, guys. I have not much to say. You know, we're just here waiting, killing some time. I feel like I'm dying. My back is killing me. Uh, but Jorge is trying out some stuff. So, I started to check in with you guys. You know, want to keep you updated when we do. This is our day in and day out. I have to wait on George because he takes forever to do everything. <laughs> hey friend, you look so pretty. Look at that. Nah, man, I'm not feeling this. I like the shorts. I told you, I'm gonna stop cursing. Now, the only problem with vlogging is doing this. You gotta say it like this. Yeah. I can't be doing this shit. My shoulder gonna be small as fuck. I'm gonna have the <laughs> strongest right shoulder yeah. of life. You're gonna tailor so that your right shoulder has right? like space. Kobe Brown? Yeah. Yo, Chris is a fake Kobe Brown, friend. Chris a fake name. ass Kobe oh, Bryant fan. Chris <laughs> think he's a Kobe Bryant fan. This guy's oh, fake. Guy over, Yo, this guy, bro. You know, me, I'm a, I'm a, I'm a very purposeful shopper. <laughs> that when I'm like, when I'm shopping, the reason I enjoy online shopping is because online, I can take my sweet time, yeah. and then come, come here, just pick yeah. up in store and go. go. But my guy over here had a picture until he got to the store, and now we're going to three million stores. And we're going back to a few already, and he still hasn't picked up anything. Oh, look, I can either get these medium joints and be comfy throughout my day. No, man, small. Hmm? Small. They don't have small. In it's black. I will have to ask. Those are even better, those are not even wrinkled. Hmm? Those are not wrinkled, those are like straight, right? Mm -hmm. Oh, but these are like... Do you see how this has like the side wrinkle? Oh, it's the same no, thing. That, that same thing. I didn't see the side. It's like little... Yeah, man, you see how long this guy is taking to pick something? Me and the other hand, see, I was like, I have to, I, to be patient. You know, when you got when you got the your style set, like black v necks all you gotta worry is about a new black v neck. Exactly. I it is. A, I am a uniform. I believe in being straight thug life for the rest of your life. With, this is you thug life. Right you see this? This is thug life for you? Listen, I'm not even picked that, so don't even try to. Don't <laughs> Why are you in the rack? Look at him, look at him in the rack. Get him in the rack. Yeah, he's an extra large. Yeah, but yo, I ain't gonna lie, this color's all right. Yeah, it is a nice color. But see, look where he's at. Liar. Liar. <laughs> Liar. Oh, these things are dope. Yeah, if I could under these small, I think is if I could get a T with it, I'd be cool. Yeah, that's nice though. Your boot. shoes. Your boots. Yeah, yeah. Yeah, I think this phone's like dying now. Alright, man. So Chris had a bright idea to take the stairs. <laughs> and now we gotta... You can see my And we're on the third floor. Yeah, it really does smell horrible. So we're on the third floor over here. We're in the fourth floor. Third floor, buddy. <sighs> look at look at Chris. Look at Chris. Everybody, look at Chris. Look at the fresh fade. The, the fade is fresh. The fade is at its freshest it's been in the last two weeks. In the last three weeks, bro. It took me a month before I got a haircut again. God damn. I almost thought about skipping it again. Sheesh. Okay. All they need is uh from your side in this case would be the country of origin. Um so, for the cables, um, if they don't... The only time I needed this, we out? All right, kids. Mama knows. Did you just leave your door open like that? You guys are coming out.
country? No, I'm talking about you leave it unlocked. Yo, you, you guys just... are the worst travel people in the world. Why? Number one thing of traveling, always organize the bags, man. Okay, now we way. have a diva. <laughs> Let me get the keys real quick so I go in the car. Because huh? it's nice and warm out here. Hey, like, whoa. You stepped on my freaking shoes. They're 10. Hey. Okay. Oh, man. Kids do a better job, bro. Yeah, man. So we got little diva Chris back there complaining about how we didn't put the bags correct. But, um, finally we got the last of the freaking bags, the last of the Mohicans, the last of the Gremlins. And we're finally going to be on our freaking way to Orlando. Um, fucking four to five hour trip. Um, <laughs> Why, why every time the camera points at you, you try to be like this fake ass? <laughs> why? Why is it that when the camera's on you, you turn fake as fuck? I said hi. Hey, hey. I said hi. Fake no, as fuck. No, he likes to put my leather in the floor. So yeah, man. So, uh. Anything here shouldn't be here? Let me get the, the bag. I don't want to. Q B roll. Mm, mm. It's about time. We're going to the wackest place in all of <laughs> Kissimmee or Orlando or whatever you want to say. What's the place called again? Magic Disney, Kingdom. nigga. Magic Kingdom or hey, Disney World. El Reino de la Magia. Or um, Disneyland Chris, or whatever you want to say. Chris and George. The Chris worst George. fucking place ever. Chris and George. But we're going to make the best out of it because Chris and I am George. Jorge Gutierrez. And I'll make shit happen. No matter where we you don't at, make I make shit pop. You don't make anything no matter where we there at, I make shit rap. No matter where we That's at, all I make shit rock. <laughs> no Lie. matter where we at, again. I make shit popping. No matter where we at, That's what you do. Just what's your what's your goal for today in this Disneyland place? Uh, I gotta rob at least three pairs of shoes. Four underwears and nine socks. Okay, that's what you plan to do with the underwear? Uh, I'm gonna throw it from a ride to see who lands in somebody's face. <laughs> Who's your favorite prince, Fatima? Beast. Beast? I was just telling Sammy yesterday, right? We were watching uh, oh, Bell. Bell, right? There the, was a kid behind it. The snow. What was it? What's the thing called? Beauty and the Beast, right? That goes to Sammy. Yo, you know what's crazy, bro? This thing is about bestiality. <laughs> <laughs> this movie's about bestiality, bro. How how is little this little girl gonna fall in love with a dog or a wolf or whatever the guy is? I'm like, yeah, the well, shit. Because they... all men are dogs. Woof woof. Ah. ah. Whole lot of gang shit, dog. Shut up. Whole lot of gang shit, dog. Huh? Hey, whole lot of whole lot of. Whole... Hi, friends. Whole this lot is of... Chris reporting to you from Disney. And we're so excited to be here. Like, really, we cannot wait to get on all the rides and see all the princesses. Okay? Pride Month okay. is in full effect. Wow. <laughs> okay, okay, disrespect. You need to. Oh. 
I'm living my best life. It's my birthday. He said, when I'm dressed like, you don't like money, I can see it in your eye. You don't like winning, I can see it in your tie. Better be careful with these women when you trick and send it fly. She count money in her sleep and she don't never spend a night. Some people stay <laughs> whole lot of gang shit dog it's a whole lot of gang shit dog all right man we're finally here we just parked we just freaking parked in this freaking parking lot it's hot as hell hot as hell right I'm now just dropped check it out oh 9 30 oh i'm down oh video oh. get at oh. me Please stand clear of the doors. Por favor, manténganse alejado de las puertas. I call it super nerd. I get, I get sick for everything and they want to blame on allergies. So, uh, <laughs> so this is like, uh, we're finally coming to the end of this damn trip. And the reason I say damn is because Chris decided to pick the most hoodest place Earth to sleep at. I done killed like 11 bed bugs and I had to stab a couple cockroaches, bro. Trust me, man. That shit ain't fun, bro. It's like five minutes away from Disney, so it should be fine. With that being said, it was a good trip. Um, hi, friends. Um, uh, yeah, you can see I'm having a tough day, tough boy. Um, yesterday at the park, we tried talking about <laughs> gratefulness, right? And how grateful we were about the jerseys being fake because now he's not very grateful. No, definitely I am being ungrateful <laughs> with the gratefulness of What's being new? grateful at the same time. That doesn't make sense. But we're basically trying to Oh damn, no wait, let's go over here. Cause the light the light is way better over here. So wait. Yo. Looky looky. Looky looky, mother lover. I'm a mother lover, you a mother lover, you ever see that? Video? But, um, I think that anybody who has friends, who has a family, because not everybody, right? There's some, we have loners out there. That's also cool. But to anybody who has that, I think we definitely need to take the time to um, reflect and be thankful for what we do have. Because, like I said, um, if you probably saw Snapchat before, and we were talking, like, that's crazy how we just have the opportunity to just say, hey, you know, Let's take a trip. I bet we could probably do this like on. I'm not gonna say every weekend, but we could probably do this like on. Doesn't have to be like a super planned thing. You know what I mean? No, it doesn't have to. Yeah, be. That's, that, that, that's what I'm trying yeah. to get at. You can just you go up and go. And there's some people that are fortunate enough to do, you know, on a bigger scale. But there's people that just can't do it at all. Period. You know what I mean? And that's to say that it doesn't really matter what situation you're in or what mm -hmm. point in your life you're in. You gotta enjoy what you do have, and you gotta think about what you do have, not what you don't have. Because the more you ponder on what you don't have, it does not add to your happiness. It adds to what you think you need in life to make you happy. So, with that, man, um, reflect on what you do have so that you can feel the blessings, even with allergies. 
You can still feel the blessings. Yeah, like, like, Not me. It, it, like, I'm going to give you something deep about allergies, right? Allergies allow you to appreciate those days and those things that you can take for granted normally. Like, you know, somebody who can just wake up in the morning just... The days I can do that because my allergies didn't kick in, uh, I appreciate those. You know, you may take them for granted, but it's a small thing, you know. We don't realize what the person around us is facing, what other people are going through. So sometimes we look at our problems and we look at our, the things we can't do, and we say, man, you know, I have the worst. But do we really? Like, you know, allergies are bad, but I have allergies, but I was in Orlando, I went to a park, I got to eat some fire food, you know. So it's like, I can't handle allergies, it's not going to kill me. You know, so let's just be grateful, man. Let's, let's really, and, and as you're grateful, you can, you can, I guess, I, I don't want to say transfer, but you can uh, exfoliate that energy, that, that gratefulness to other people, because, you know, then you start being That's grateful. Sort of yeah, transfer, maybe. Uh, because you can, you can, I guess, transfer this energy out that can influence other people to feel grateful as well. Mm-hmm. And because sometimes I need a reminder, like, yo, you, you kind of being kind of bratty, Chris. You know, and, and I, it's, I need to be held in check. You need to be held in check. People need to be held in check. You know, so this is our, our kind of like encouragement to you guys to check yourself. Like, are you being bratty? Are you being, like, have you been, been complaining too much? Are you not being grateful enough? Because there's always going to be room to, for complaints, but there's also always room for gratefulness. Uh-huh. So choose to be grateful instead of complaining. You know, uh-huh. it makes it better for you, it makes it better for others. Uh-huh.